Showing your money all down your arm and fanning it out in your pictures and spreading it all out on the floor, making it in your name, doing snow angels, all kind of shenanigans. That's the thing of the past. Flex your credit cards. Is it unlimited? What's your limit? Because right now they're not only giving unlimited funds, with the PPP, ERC, and all those different things, they're giving unlimited credit lines and credit cards as well. When you come to this money, things are actually getting easier and easier, not harder and harder. It only seems to be hard just if you don't know and you're financially literate. So I want y'all to check out these smart credit cards because they're more effective and more easier to start building your credit versus any other credit card that's out there. So with these smart credit cards, the limits are larger so that means that your utilization is going to be lower in theory so that's meaning that whatever you used to spend in month to month you don't want to do anything to implicate you to do more than that what's the point in using your debit card when you can swipe your credit card and get points you should be using your credit card as much as possible let's say you go out to eat with your family and friends or whatever when the bill come instead of you letting them pay for their food individually just go ahead and take their cash and you swipe your credit card and go back and pay on the bill the next day with their money that they just gave you or let's say you going out shopping with your friends or whatever or you going to go shop and you already got cash that you know you're going to spend in the first place anyways so why now swipe your credit card and then turn around and go back and pay the bill for what you spent the next day today from the day before and build your credit what is the point in using debit cards to pay for gas what is the point in using debit cards to pay for your bills your rent your utility bills uh all those electric all those different type of expenses you should be swiping your credit card to build your credit up let's say I have a two thousand dollar credit limit on my credit card and let's say every time and every chance I get every opportunity I get I run everything through my credit card even if my partner needs some I let I swipe the credit card and take his cash too so let's say I spend twenty five hundred dollars within a month's time before my billing date and when my billing date comes my balance is at zero I just maximize my potential because I spent more than what my limit was but I paid it back before the time I was supposed to owe and you always want to pay more than what your minimum balance is or whatever the balance is because you flip the script and it's a whole nother ball game that opens up for you when you do stuff like this when they have to turn around and owe you always remember this when it comes to credit cards you got two billing dates it's not just one and the date that they do tell you about is not the date that actually implicates you It's the date that they don't tell you about which is the reporting date that actually gets you The reporting date and the due date are usually three to five days in between each other So what you do you call up your credit card company and you ask them What's my uh, my due date for my credit card and they're gonna tell you a date and then you turn around and You ask them what's the reporting date for my credit card and they tell you another date and that's the date that gets you and makes you and causes you to have to pay the APR percentage so you want to make sure that that balance is at zero before that reporting date that way it'll be like you're using the credit card interest free you never have to pay interest on your credit card again if you follow what I'm telling you so they'll tell you about the date that they are supposed to trip you up on but won't tell you about the other date people are the real frauds out here and let's not even get started with the predatory lenders with the banks and stuff like that and they give you all kind of good game you know telling you about uh, how to open up account you know so far on and so forth but when you do finally open up the account with them you find out that the overdraft freeze is freaking crazy predatory lending is when they don't explain all the nuances and hidden fees surcharges and stuff behind opening up an account with them anytime you have a bank that's saying that you got to spend or swipe your card five or more times or x amount of times a month and able to stay in good standing with them before they charge you with fees of such you know they predatory lending these banks want you to swipe your debit card as more as 15 times a month knowing that the average person isn't especially if you live on or below the poverty line you're not and then what are they going to do when you don't they collect fees overdraft fees too so why not swipe your credit card more than your debit card I'll tell y'all another thing these car salesmen they're initially out to fuck you it's nothing personal it's just business they some of the sleaziest people on earth and some of them don't know the game but most of them do so this is what they do you go in you're going to get a car right so they say well we're going to run some inquiries through the banks to see if you get approved 
So instead of them running one inquiry, but not one, but two, not two, but three, these niggas will run up to five and six inquiries on your credit report. And you're not knowing that to the financial bureaus, when it shows that you have six hard inquiries on your credit report, that's telling them that you're going to go bankrupt within five years. So you go in there thinking you're going to get a car, but they coming up off your ass off of hard inquiries. Because little that you know that the car salesman gets $20 per inquiry. And you look back on, well, I look back on some of these different credit reports that I help people with. And you see that these same banks is tripping them up. And they're going to three and four and five different car dealerships and they racking up inquiries on their credit report. Don't let them do that to you. And don't do it to yourself. Limit to it, limit it all the way down to at least one to three inquiries that they run on you. And then if you get denied, don't go to two and three other dealerships across down town and do the same thing over again. And a lot of y'all are so illiterate and not knowing to this knowledge, you just completely kill yourself and take yourself out of the game because all because you just want to get a car know your business before you step into these uh these car dealerships dealing with these car salesmen take somebody with you that knows finance as far as cars or that has a long history of cars and has a good history of cars at that as well and know what they're doing Perfectly me, I take my brother with me when I go get cars because I know he worked at Lexus for X amount of times and he know the finance game behind it. So if you got somebody in your corner in your pocket that you can take with you that know the game, take them with you to assist you so you don't get fucked or fuck yourself. Just one more time, I'm only doing credit consultations. That's it. Don't hit me up about no PPP loan applications, ERC, EIDL, none of that. I would never do any paperwork for any of y'all. I don't care how much you beg. I don't even really care how much you pay. I don't deal with people's information like that. Even with credit, I don't want any of your personal information. All right, I'm filling you in with the nuances of credit so you can stay in good standings with credit. Even if you decide to go out and pay somebody to do your credit that's fine but i guarantee you the person that you pay to do your credit they're not going to give you the game and the nuances that i give you and tell you to play by and able to stay in good standings within the credit that they get you on appreciate y'all for tapping in and subscribing man all my new subscribers man y'all make sure y'all hit that notification bell because i know with all this game that i'm putting out they're gonna start shadow banning me like they did on the last channel so i gotta be prepared for that man so make sure y'all have them notifications on and y'all hit me in the comments man y'all know i'm in there hit me in the comments with your questions and uh we'll see how it go man